how's it going tonight I'm out here this is right above my uh, machine room my MFE should be directly below that block and I'm gonna do a little testing today for my big project <clears throat> that I've been talking about a little bit and basically I want to test out some transformers here and actually transfer transferring power with and without transformers actually so let's see here this is probably not going to be enough let's see if I have any in this bag I normally don't carry both bags but I've been too lazy to go lay the other one down yeah it looks like I'm stuck with this so let's see if it'll do any good out here if not I'll have to go grab some this is my kinetic generator and kinetic wind generator so I'll put that there and have to do that and crapola and let's see if I got it set right I never set these right alright yeah, I'm not set the wrong way it's that way I'm sure that's not going to be high enough to actually get any wind I should actually probably make a uh, wooden one for testing <clears throat> but basically this is what I need right here that'll be you know way up there in the sky and this has got a little bit of power still in it and I want to get power into this MFSU um, only using these instead of regular uh, Greg Tech battery boxes because I'm not sure for one if the kinetic generator will put out properly to the Greg Tech one so for right now since I'm just trying transformers I want to try it first alright so if I go into the MV since that's what this is we'll go this way wrench it to change direction now you see it's powering up that'll change it from IC2 to Greg Tech and that'll be putting out HB so now what I want to see is will that put out directly to this or will it lose power alright it is putting out directly to it so that means I may not need all these transformers because I know Greg was telling me a while back that you needed LV transformers for anything less than I think 16 and I did a little bit of playing with it and found out that that was true but I wanted to see if it worked on larger so I wanted to see if it would actually feed MV into EV because that's basically what that is and there isn't an MV an EV power so you know this is my idea here this is my big project so let's try let's do a little more testing with this here get that out of my hand for a moment let's see if I can sleep this is basically a two-part project I want to make a solar farm and a wind farm back in that area to make a lot of power 
I have essentially made enough solar panels, which let me tell you, it was a chore to do, to make 512 EU a tick. Now, that is without any loss whatsoever. Um, so with cable loss and things like that, it's going to be even more. Or even less than 512. I may end up having to put in an extra bank to get the full 512. Alright, so... This is an EV transformer. This will go from... EV to IV basically and we want if I remember correctly that's gonna go that way and we're gonna have this long distance here which is gonna go on top and my guess is it's gonna go that way Hopefully we don't blow anything up today. And then this is our long distance cable. Let's go ahead and take this out. Just in case we blow anything up. Which we shouldn't because explosions are turned off. But just want to be safe. Put both of these over here. And we'll grab this. And we'll grab that. And we'll put our long distance cable down on top of here. Now these cables, you cannot connect anything to them. Now this should be plenty high enough for this. So we'll put that there. And we're going to put that right on top. This is going to go out on the front. We're going to put the rotor in. Let's see if it's going to too weak for rotor at the moment. And so I'm probably going to have to get a wooden rotor. Now, since I got my butt all the way up here and don't effectively have a way down, I'm going to put on my rubber boots. Ugh. And drop. Alright, so I want to see if this is going to transfer power down to it and then put out EV power so we'll grab this we'll put it over here we just gotta wait and see if this thing is actually gonna turn on and if it doesn't then I can just take it up a little higher but the other idea is that I have these here which are going to go like this around one of these LV trans or ULV transformers so they'll be just like that and then this will go right here in the middle it'll be set to go backwards Oops, on my wrench. If we set this this direction, that should then put power into this, which is basically just my standalone. Oh, yeah, no, I can't do that. Alright, well, I can do this. Put that there. And so it's not trying to put it in it. I'll do that there. And then break this out of here. 
and now it's getting power. So essentially, this is what I'm going to have all over, except it's not going to be a CSU. I'm going to dig underground here, which this is going to be over there a little more. But I'm going to essentially have it go this direction, and then that'll go into probably wires. And what I was wanting to know was if I needed these transformers to go from the LV up to the EV because I want to run EV power out of here down through the base. Um, and that thing does not want to start. All right, let's go make a wood rotor real quick. It's only a piece of iron and some wood, so won't take but a second to do. And on my tree farm, I got tons of wood. And I should have some more scaffolding in here, too. I'm hoping to get this up and running in the next few days, but I got to do a little bit of testing first. And I like to do my testing on camera with you guys so you can see the results that I'm getting and how I came to the decisions that I made for how I did it. For any of you that don't have the time to sit around and test this crap yourself. Or don't want to read pages and pages of wikis and stuff like that to try to figure out what what works and how. So let's see. If I remember correctly, it's logs in the center, planks on the outside. That'll give you the four of these. Made a lot of these back at Baird End 2.0, so. It's all I used for a long time over there. Alright, let's make some more scaffolding real quick. While we're here. So I gotta tear up my boots. I go through a lot of these things. Alright. And I was looking at it. There is no EV battery. It only goes up to HV. So I can't use purely Greg Tech at the moment unless I want to do a real big loss and make the laser crystal thing. And I'm not going to do that. But there is no long distance cable any lower than EV. So let's go ahead and pop this thing right on up there. In case you didn't know you can just smack this with the thing with a left click and it'll automatically uh, place it for you at the very top. So, now we can come in here, take this one out, that one in, now that is making 38KU, which if I had this going the right direction, which apparently I didn't, you can tell because there would be a power thing on the back, there we go. Alright, so that's powering that. We're getting 9.5 EU a tick. Wow, we're getting some power. This is a very bad wind area, or at least a very bad wind time. Alright. So that should be transferring down here, but 
that power is going to be so bad. I don't even know if it's going to make down that cable being so low. Let me look at these long distance transformers here. Because this is the first I've played with them. Let's see. Wrench to set facing. Soft hammer to reset. Alright. So, I can't even break these because I don't have a high enough level wrench because I broke my good wrench. Deck on it. I'm trying to see... Does that go that way or this way? I think it goes that way. Let me go check this one up here. Make sure it's facing down into as well. Because I do believe that's the way it's going to need to go. Is like that. Stored power, but it's not moving into there. So that might be where I was talking that it needs one of these. Because I know that there's a problem getting power out of them with anything other than Greg Tech or IC2 battery boxes so let's do this we'll put and crap I can't put that up there uh, let's do one of these here and we'll put that there, that there, put that there, that that direction, pop that, and I'm going to lose my damn rotor, okay, that's the generator, that's the wind generator, so we're going to put this up here, and we need it to face that direction, Hope I did that right. And put this over here. Facing that way, I think. Nope, that is definitely not the right way. Alright, that direction. Hey, it's actually getting a little bit, so. 32 EU a tick. And it is going up. From that. But it should be going down because it should be transferring into here. Crap. On a cracker. So I was facing the right way like I thought. And popped it out of there. Alright, so just throw that in there. Come grab it. Hope it's not getting too dark for you guys to see here. Alright, so. Pop this back in here. And we need to face it down. Now, that's definitely not transferring power. So, let's try changing this direction this way. Still not getting power. And this is where I was kind of wondering if I was going to need a transformer. So, let's grab this out of here. And we'll wrench this back off again. Wrench this back off again. And we'll 
we'll just wrench this so we ain't got a mess with it. And we'll do HV to EV transformer. Put that there. We'll go that way. And then we're going to do that to go the right direction. And now we'll try this. See if it'll be enough. And it is definitely not powering that. Like it should be. Alright. So. Grab this back off again. And we'll put the MB to HV. Going that direction. Invert it. And we'll go up. Put that there. We'll go that way. And now it's powering. Alright. But it's still not powering that. So we'll go this way. Why is it not powering the long distance transformer? Because that is EV going in. That is the EV transformer. Long distance transformer EV. 2048 in, 2048 out. So why is that not connecting? Um, let's go down here. And just to be safe, get on top of there. I don't think you're going to explode if it starts raining, but I want to be safe. All right, now that has got both of them going the same direction. Still not working. Why is that still not working? Hmm. Quite confused here. Move this up here, give it something to connect to without the transformer. Hi, buddy, I see you over there floating around. Go back that direction. And let's go to the right side of this. And we're going to put this this direction. Yeah. And it still doesn't want to work. Hmm. Alright, I'm not sure. So, I have to check with Greg and see... What the hell is going on, unless you guys have any ideas on why this isn't working. Make me a better wrench so I can break these things, because this is going to need a level 3 wrench, so I'm just going to make another tungsten carbide like I had before. Only made the steel one, because I needed something quickly. So, I'll do that so I can get these and see if I can figure out what's wrong with this because I really want to use this for my wind tower that way I'm not using IC2 cables because I don't like IC2 cables and then I also want to use one of these crap oh I caught it right at the last second I also want to use one of these to go from here all the way down to the MFSU in my base. This is basically my way of getting away from that big turbine because it's going to be breaking soon. Um, so I want to put a wind tower and solar panel farm together out here. So I guess this is testing phase one 
and I will see what I can figure out. Hopefully with your guys' help or with Greg's help, figure out why I can't get this cable to work. Are these transformer things to work? And I'll be back with you next time. Have a good one, guys.